YouTube, first off, quit unsubscribing my subscribers from my fucking channel. They want to watch my videos, then I don't need you to unsubscribe them. And plus, quit blocking people from my fucking channel. Football picks. Baltimore at home tomorrow night's game, a minus 12 and a half Cleveland. I'm taking Cleveland with the 12 and a half. I think the Browns will keep it close, knowing that Pat Shermer has to win a fucking game. I don't know if the Browns will win it, but they ain't going to get beat by over 12 and a half points. Take Cleveland with the 12 and a half points. New England minus four at Buffalo. New England should have won last week against Baltimore. They're going to beat Buffalo. Buffalo, believe me, without Spiller, believe me. Buffalo is a di er, New England! New England! New England is a different fucking animal than Cleveland. They got a million times better head coach and better players. Buffalo, nice short-lived victory, 2-1, 2-2 two 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 after this game. Detroit at home, or at Detroit, they're giving Minnesota four. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, backtrack. New England's giving Buffalo four at Buffalo. New England will kill them still. That's what I'm talking about. Detroit minus four at home, giving Minnesota four. Christian Ponder. Detroit Lions are seven and nine team, six and ten at best. I'm taking Minnesota with the four points to win the game outright. I'm sorry. I'm just not a believer in Matthew Stafford. I mean, he's good. He's good. But I just think Minnesota right now is playing good ball. Um, Carolina getting seven at Atlanta. I don't know why I'm so fucking confused. Carolina getting seven at Atlanta right now. Give Carolina 150 points. Cam Newton has taken a dramatic step backwards. Take Atlanta. Atlanta's a real deal right now. I got them the best team in the uh, league right now. Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta will cover that point spread. San Francisco, who are staying in my town right now. They're right down the street from my town. Because the owner's from Youngstown, Ohio. So they're staying right here in Youngstown, Ohio, which I may go see later on, trying to get some video on this net. But they are at the New York Jets, and they are giving the New York Jets four points at New York. That doesn't scare San Francisco. It certainly doesn't scare fucking Harbaugh. 49ers, well, you will see Tebow in this game because fucking Sanchez is garbage. Your typical USC quarterback. They all are garbage. Todd Maranovich? Or maybe he was from uh, UCLA. But you get the gist. These USC quarterbacks are garbage. Um, Kansas City giving at home, giving San Diego one. That's you know that's always a good matchup. These guys, you know, their uh, rivalry games. It's that Philip Rivers got humiliated last week by Atlanta. I'm taking San Diego because Kansas City's garbage. He's the straight garbage. So take San Diego. At Houston, giving Tennessee 12. Hey, you know, a lot of people are saying Houston's the best team in the league right now at this juncture. I like Tennessee with the 12 points. Houston's going to win the game, but I like Tennessee with that 12-point spread. Seattle, at home. Oh, at St. Louis, I'm sorry. getting two or Giving two and a half to St. Louis. St. Louis, the underdog at home. Guess what? Jeff Fish is going to beat that Seahawks team. I'm sorry, Seahawks fans. I know you like Russell Wilson, but he's not an NFL quarterback. He will be benched in a couple weeks here for Matthew D. Flynn. Take, uh, uh, take St. Louis. Miami getting six and a half at Arizona. Hmm. I tell you, it's going to be tough for the Dolphins to go on the road at Arizona where Arizona's playing right now. Dolphins are headed in the right direction, but I like the Cardinals right now. Six and a half. Cardinals are a good team. They're a fucking good team. They beat the fucking Patriots. They beat the fucking Eagles. And they beat uh, Seattle in opening season. Albeit Braylon Edwards did his traditional dropping of the ball. So I like the uh, Cardinals to cover that. Denver. At home, giving Oakland six and a half. Always in a division game. These games always get on the wire. I like Oakland with the six and a half points. In fact, I like Oakland to beat Denver right now. Because Peyton Manning, Peyton weak arm Manning. Bling, bling, no more. Bling, bling, bling. It's all weak. And the reason I'm doing this on this fucking thing is because it's an upload real quick. I got shit to do today. Sit in that chair and the other camera I use, it takes more quality. This net, this is real fucking cheap quality. Jacksonville at home, getting two points against Cincinnati. I'm sorry. Fuck the Bengals. Fuck them. But that being said, I think the Bengals are going to roll over Jacksonville. So, uh, Bengals are going to kill them. Give the two points to Jacksonville and take the Bengals and fucking win. Green Bay at home, giving seven and a half to the New Orleans Saints. Now, this game here, earlier in the season, you think this is a great game. This game fucking sucks. The Saints suck. The Packers ain't no fucking good either. But I like the Packers right now because the Saints are 0-3. And let's face it out. The Saints' defense sucks. Aaron Rodgers are going to all be pissed off what happened. Now they got ripped off the game the other day. Take the Packers and bury the Saints. Should be a high-scoring game. But I like the Packers, uh, 41 to 28. Tampa Bay, at home, giving R.G. Robert Griffin the turd three points. 
Robert Griffin III getting three points on uh, at Tampa Bay. Take the Buccaneers. I'm sorry, but the honeymoon with Robert Griffin III is over about Redskins fans. I told you, Wheaton's a better quarterback. You're all going to finally see that. Robert Griffin III. Bye. Too small, too weak, too frail to play this league. Take the uh, Buccaneers to cover that. At home, Lincoln Financial Field, Philadelphia, whatever they call that fucking stadium now, giving the New York Giants... Hold up, hold up. There, wait, I understand you're at home, Philadelphia, but you're giving the fucking G-Men two points? Please. The Giants are going to roll. You're going to see Nicholas Foles in this game. It's time to move on. Reed, it's time to fucking run the ball, you dumbass. Do you realize if you would have run the ball against Cleveland in week one, the game would have probably been 31-3, to 31-10? No, you're not a good coach, Reed. Your times are done. Yeah, yeah, your pass run ratio is 70 to fucking 30. It's fucking terrible. And the Monday Nighter, Dallas giving Chicago at home, at home. Dallas is at home giving Chicago three and a half. Jason Cutler. Um, If I was a Chicago Bears offensive lineman right now, I would just let everybody come through. Let everybody just boom and rough Cutler up. Cutler's a jackass. I think the Cowboys are going to win this game big. Uh, Jay Cutler's going to be forced in interceptions. And I think Anthony Romo's going to have a big game. But, uh, yeah, it's it's time. It's time. Chicago Bears, let them come sack Cutler. If I was an offensive tackle and fucking Cutler pushed me, you would need a new quarterback in Chicago, needless to say, because it wouldn't happen. It would not fucking happen. Those are the picks. I have a 92% success rate this year. Up 1% from last year's 91%.